this is the jitter effect and how you can use it in After Effects. I will be animating in a 920, 1080, 6 seconds, 24 FPS composition. Let's start by pressing Ctrl T to get up the text tool and we will write U. Press V to unmark the text tool, then mark U again. Press Ctrl Alt Home to center the anchor point, Ctrl Home to center the text. And next let's go up to the ellipse tool and if you can't see it directly, just press the mouse and hold and you will get up a few different options. Then press and drag while holding shift at the same time to create a perfect circle. This we will also align in the middle. Mark both layer and press Ctrl D to copy them and move them up here in the top. Repeat it one more time, Ctrl D and move it up in the top. Mark the two layers in the bottom and press Ctrl Shift C to be able to create a composition and we will name this U. Then we can just hide this layer by pressing the little I on the left side. Double click the text layer here above and we will rename this to distractions. And go ahead and mark both the layers. Again here we press Ctrl Alt Home to center the anchor point and Ctrl Home to center them in the middle of the composition. And you can hide the top layers for now to be able to see what you're actually doing here. Then just press in one of the corners here and hold shift at the same time while you're dragging it out to expand it. And let's go to effects and presets and search for fill. And you can just double click the fill to apply it to both layers. And again we create a composition here by pressing Ctrl Shift C and we will name this distractions. Hide this layer and unhide the top ones. Double click the text layer and change this to focus. And mark both layers and again we will center the anchor point, Ctrl Alt Home, and center both the layers, Ctrl Home. Go to Effects and Presets and double click the fill. And we will change color to this to green color. Let's mark focus as well. Use the eyedropper and just click above the circle here to match the color. And we do the same here and just drag out the circle a little bit by holding shift at the same time by dragging out. Mark both layers and create a new composition and name this focus. Next we want to go ahead and click this little star looking shape and tick the box to be able to keep the quality of all the shapes while it's expanding or contracting. Let's toggle the visibility here again and keep the bottom two layers visible and hide the top one. And we can also move the time cursor to the middle of the composition to 3 seconds. Mark focus the layer, hold alt and press left bracket or number 8 at the same time on your keyboard to be able to cut the layer off at the time cursor. Mark the U and let's go into effects and presets and search for jitter. And you can just double click the jitter loop and we will change the intensity here from 50 to 500. Just make sure that you have the intensity marked. So, so control set to undo it and uh, Again, write 500 for just the intensity slider. And uh, create a keyframe here in the beginning. Go forward a bit in the timeline and stop just before 3 seconds. And here we will create a new keyframe and change this to 5. And just press U here as well to be able to actually see the keyframes, what you're doing. And move forward a bit just after 3 seconds. Create a new keyframe here by just pressing this little circle here to the left. And we can move forward to 4 seconds and create a new keyframe here by changing it to 8 intensity slider. And let's also change the speed actually and we will ramp it up to 100. Let's do 50 here. And let's do a little bit of changes here in the middle. We do the one here just before 3 seconds at 0 to make it jitter a little bit faster as it prolong. Mark the layer of distractions, press S for getting up the scale and create a keyframe here and just drag it to the very left in the composition. And you can create a new keyframe here by changing the slider here to 40%. Go forward to just a little bit after 3 seconds and just press the little circle there again or the little marker, not really that round. Then mark the U layer, the composition. And you can hold shift and press S to be able to see both the scale and the slider at the same time. Create a keyframe there as well at 100% and go forward a bit to 4 seconds and we will drag this up to roughly 
140% will do. And we will also scale it up. Let's do this to about something like this. So the red circle is just covering the white one in the middle. Go to the beginning again in the timeline. And then you can just press U to be able to collapse all the layers. And we can double click the U layer to get into the composition. Or let's actually go back and uh, mark all the three layers. Press U again to get up all the keyframes. And let's go forward to just before three seconds where we made the other keyframe. So we actually know where we want to do the next keyframing in the U composition. Mark them both and create a keyframe for the scale. 100% and then go to the beginning here and drag it up a little bit or we can actually put it to 200% Go back again to the main composition the jitter effect press U to collapse all the layers and we can have a quick look here Drag in the cursor mark all the layers again press U to be able to get up the keyframes You can just toggle the view here for focus as well to make it visible mark the focus and double click the jitter loop effect on this one as well and we can change this one to 500 in the beginning, the intensity slider. And we will move forward a bit to just about somewhere here. Change it down to zero here again. And then we will scale up the U a little bit at about five seconds. We go back to the focus layer. Hit the new keyframe here as well for the scale at 100%. Drag it to the beginning. And then ramp this number up a little bit here. Roughly 191, just about where it actually covers the edges of the O in the middle. Scroll down a little bit to the U layer, 4 seconds, and we can actually just erase the scaling keyframe here. Make it a bit more smooth in the end, hopefully. Go back to the focus layer. I just realized that I actually didn't make made any keyframes here before, so let's do it again. 500 here in the beginning, make a keyframe, go forward a little bit and set next keyframe to zero. So we actually have a change in the intensity here. Go up to effects and presets and search for scatter and just mark the distractions layer here. Either double click on the scatter or just drag and drop it over it. And let's create a keyframe here at four seconds at zero. Mark the layer and move forward a little bit and we create a new keyframe here. We're ramping up the number a little bit, something like this. Then we will actually also do a bit of upscaling here for the distraction layer. So just drag this up a little bit as well. Something you think looks good. And let's increase the scatter amount here as well. So we're spreading the scattering a bit more. Something like this. All right, move forward again. Then let's do some animation to the opacity. So holding shift and press T at the same time to be able to see the opacity as well. Create a keyframe for the opacity and just drag it down a little bit before 4 seconds. And then a new keyframe here to 0%. So it fades out from 100 to 0. Let's drag this up a little bit so we can see all the keyframes. Press Ctrl Alt A to be able to mark them all. And F9 to give them some ease. Just drag it down here a little bit again. Something like this. And you can mark the focus layer. Go up to the speed slider and change this to 50 instead. Make it go a little bit faster. And we can mark the U layer here. And let's create a new keyframe at about 4 seconds. And just drag this one down a little bit. So the white circle is just inside of the red one when it's scattering. Go forward a bit in the timeline to just about where the layers expand the most. Go to U create a keyframe, go forward a bit and we will change the intensity here from 8 to 0. Mark the U composition, press P to get up the position. We can create a keyframe here and just move it a little bit to the left. And let's adjust the U layer here a little bit. You can just press the arrow right on your keyboard and you will move the layer one frame at a time to the right to be able to match the circles here a little bit more in the middle. And we want to find a spot to just about, to just about before the animation start to expand a little bit here again. And just drag down the first keyframe we made to this point. See how it looks like. And we can stop at 
two seconds. And we are not seeing all the keyframes here, so press Ctrl A to mark them, U to collapse them, and U again to be able to actually see them all. And the next step is really according to your own preferences, how you like the animation here. But I will do a little bit of tweaking in the speed graph. And I will start with two keyframes here to the left. Just drag over them, mark them, click here on the speed graph. And make sure you actually choose the speed graph and not the value graph. Drag over them. Drag in this little yellow circle. And I will drag in the right one here to the middle. Thus the animation starts quite slow, speed up a lot, and then drops and slows down a lot in the end. And the next one that can look quite complicated, but you can choose this however you like if you just want to do a few of them at each time. But I will actually just mark them all, or at least almost all, not the middle ones. And this can look a little bit intimidating and crazy in here. But in this one here I want to do a little bit similar, like the first keyframes, but in the opposite direction. So I want them to start slower and then gradually speed up and slow down just a little bit again in the very end. So try your best to get one of the little yellow dots here on the lines and drag them to the right. Something like this and repeat them here as well. Drag over all of them and try get one of the little yellow dots here and just drag it to the right, to the middle. So this is a little bit according to your own preferences and you don't really need to do it as well. You can just keep a normal ease if you want, but it's good practice and you can really get the animation more under your own control or as you like if you if you actually go in and do some adjustments here in the in the speed graph. And we create a little bit of motion blur by marking the little box. And thus, for now we got something like this. I think I want the, the red and white circles to move closer to each other on the expansion here. So mark all the layers, press U again to be able to see all the keyframes. Move it up here a bit and the time cursor a little bit further in here to see the animation. And I want to mark the keyframes for the scaling of the distractions and move them forward a little bit. Something like this. Mark the U composition or U layer. And we can actually delete the one here in the bottom. Make it a bit more smooth. We don't really need it. Let's mark this scale here again. Move them a little bit more to the right. A bit more. Something like this. Let's actually move the scaling a little bit for the U layer. Let's drag it a little bit more here to the left. And try to match them up as good as you can. And go forward here and we can actually drag out the scatter amount as well or the keyframe for the scatter amount. I kind of want it to move out a little bit further so let's drag it out a little bit. And also with the opacity here. So I want it to fade out a little bit slower so I'm dragging out the keyframe for the opacity. A little bit further to the right. Something like this. And that's it. There you have it. Your final animation. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you found this video helpful and if you want to learn some more, please subscribe and make sure that you don't miss out on the next one.